Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to another video and another week at Resurrect HQ, where we'll be working on this Fiesta today. Um, we've got to do the glass, we've got to do the side glass in the, in the doors, and then we've got to do another video on the windscreen. Um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we've got a few bits and pieces doing this one. This one's going to be a pretty quick one, to be fair. To be honest with you, not be, it's not going to be them that many episodes on this Fiesta like the other one. But um, <clears throat> yeah, it should be interesting. I've never done the glass on the side doors before. Never changed those before. So it's a first for me as well. <laughs> See how it goes. There's always a first for something. Um, <clears throat> but before we get into it, guys, listen, thanks very much for all the comments and all the thumbs up on the videos. Really do appreciate um, all your support and everyone's uh, views and stuff. I get a lot of views from non-subscribers um, as well as all my subscribers but um, yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to you know hit that subscribe button and uh, you know follow me in my journey. And uh, hopefully we can sort of get some. I want to. I want to. My aim this year is definitely Fiesta STs and Focus STs. I, I need. I want. I want to get those cars. That's my aim this year is STs. <laughs> so <laughs> fingers crossed. But um, yeah, for now we'll jump on this one. Uh, I'll spin you around and we'll get straight into it. So yeah, like I was saying, we're going to do this glass today. Um, these two here, plus the ring mirror as well. We're going to do that as well. Whilst obviously the panel's off and bits and pieces, we can get to the wiring. It just makes complete sense to do that as well. Um, I'm not quite sure. I've not. I've never done this before. I've only. I've only looked at how to do it. Obviously, we're going to have to get this panel off. I've started to unscrew it and stuff, so we'll just we'll just pull that off. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, we'll start with this one. This one's got to be, it's got a clip. It's got like a clip. You have to get behind it and then pull that circlip out and then that handle will pop off. And then this, this should just come off. There's a screw in there as well to take out, which I've done. And there's a screw there to take out that I've done. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's that one. Front one's gonna be a little bit, oh, I think I've got to take this cover off, I think. This cover here. This pops off and there's two screws behind that. There's a screw there that I've taken off already. Um, but yes, and then we'll pop this, we'll pop this door card off and we'll do this one. And then at the same time, it's, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll swap this over, get that done. I've got it in color as well. So it's, uh, it's decent electric. Um, yeah. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do today is work on this glass on this on this side door. But um, I just want to quickly show you before I do, <coughs> I need to get obviously we're going to do the windscreen. That's a definite. <laughs> but this bonnet, I'm just not happy with it, guys. Look, you can see it peeling. It's like the lacquer, and it's just it's just peeling away. I'm not going to leave that like that. I just think that's. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna take it over to the guy, the paint shop, and see if he can, you know, what, what he can do with it. Um, I don't want it painted, as in top coat painted. I just want the lacquer done. So hopefully it's a case of just, you know, rubbing down, I don't know, rubbing it back. I don't know, what, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm just kind of guessing really. Because <clears throat> I've never, I've never had to uh, <clears throat> ask them to do that. Just a lacquer, lacquer peel. But I definitely can't. I definitely don't want to leave that. And there's a bit here in the middle as well. Look, see that. You can just see it. It's like peeling. I'm really not happy with it, guys. So <clears throat> that is definitely going to go to the paint shop. So I'm going to take that off. And tell it to the paint shop. Whilst I'm taking this to the paint shop, it makes complete sense to take the side wing mirror cover on the blue one as well, and let him just paint it. Might as well let him rub it down, let it paint it, let it get, and it's done then. So <clears throat> yeah, so those those two bits are done. Uh, the other thing I've done as well is um, I, I had a lot a lot of messages, <laughs> comments about the badges on the blue one. Which was great. No, I'm not saying that I don't want them comments because I do. And it's absolutely fantastic that you spot those kind of things because, you know, whilst I'm 
I'm fixing the cars and whilst I'm filming me doing the cars, we do miss things because we've got so much other stuff going on. Um, and we do sort of, yeah, we do sort of miss things when we're doing these kind of cars. So it's nice. It is nice that you spot these things and point these bits out. Um, and I have changed it over. So I've took off the old one from the other bonnet, you can, uh, the, the boot lid, you can see it over there. I've taken out the um, the strip <clears throat> and I've put the, uh, like a blue, um, it's got like a blue thing to it now as well. So you can see there. So that one, one this one was on the other one um, and now it matches this matches a, a lot of people do, don't like this but you know it's it's a cover and it and it covers up the original badge and i think as long as they match then they should be good to go i've got I've still got to try and check the switch because a lot of you are saying about the switch as well which, which is causing the light to stay on which is causing the battery to drain which is causing problems um but yeah so that, that now matches the front <clears throat> of this one Um, yes, this is the cover that I said to you before. I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to get this, get the painter to, to, to paint this again just so that it's fresh because I don't like that. Not good. <clears throat> so there we go. Right. So I'm going to get on with um, <clears throat> this glass today. I'll set you up and I'll, 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 we'll do step by step and we'll see how we go with it, guys. So let's do this. Right, so I managed to get the, um, yeah, the door card off and this plastic trim, internal trim that's covering uh, behind where the glass sits as well. So I managed to get that away and you can see down there all the glass. So I've got to get that out first of all, get the hoover on that and get all that cleared. I should get it all out. There's, there's no reason why I can't. Um, and then you'll see here, <clears throat> There's like a little connection. There's there's a bolt. There's two bolts, one each side. They're just there. You can just see it at the bottom. There's one there, and then there's one on that bit there. You can just see that bolt through there. So there's two bolts that holds the glass in place. And this is the actual, um, yeah, this is the actual wire that connects to the winder that winds it up and down. So it's just a case of clearing the glass out. And there's glasses up glass at the top there. You can see a little bit there, up there. I just, I just want to get it all out as much as I can. Hopefully, I'll get it all. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, you just, um, it looks like you just pop these little plastic cover things off, like the little, um, I don't know what they are, foam bits or something. Just take them off. And then you can, I wind the window down to where the bolts sit. Then you can undo the bolts <coughs> off the glass. And then it's a case of just putting the new one in. But I don't know if I've got to take all this off or what, but um, we'll have to have a look to when we're, when we're fitting the glass because I think there's still bits of glass in this channel and stuff. So I want to give it a good clean. Yeah, and get all the little bits of shards and all the little bits of glass, get it all cleared out. You can see that it's all in there. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, but before I quickly get into that one, <clears throat> just want to quickly say about the bonnet on this car. I took the bonnet over to the painters and yeah, we had a good chat about um, what we're going to do about it. And it, he, he kind of said, you can't really just lacquer it. I didn't know that you could just sort of rub it down and re-lacquer it. I don't know. Uh, I didn't know. So he said, it's going to have to be repainted, basically, the whole, the whole bonnet. So that's what he's going to do. So I've left that with him. He's going to paint the bonnet and he's going to paint the um, wing mirror cover on the blue one as well. And he said he'll do that, both those jobs for £100. So that is, yeah, that's no brainer really. It's spot on. 
So for 100 quid, he's doing that bonnet and that and that and that windmill cover. <clears throat> so left that with him. He can get on with that. Give me a call in a couple of days when it's ready. I just said to him, I said, do not change the shade of this silver. <laughs> it's got to be like the original. And he said he will. So, yep. Let's leave that with him. Right, I'm going to go ahead and get all this glass cleared out. And then... Um, I'll show you what it's like. I'll get that glass off of that little rail bit there as well. Get it all cleared out, and then we'll, yeah, we'll hopefully have a look at rein, reinstating the new one. Um, we'll see what it goes like, but yeah. Okay, guys, bear with me for a minute, and I'll come back to you. That is much, much better. So as you can see, it's all been cleared out. All the glass has gone. And I've removed the glass from the brackets as well. You can see there's, there's two brackets here, there's rubber ones. Um, so I've removed the glass from that, it's all, it's all cleared. And like I said, you, you go through here, and there's uh, just a 10 mil bolt there and there. And you just undo them, and it releases the bracket, the rubbers, it releases it. Um, you can see that it's all loose. And just gives you enough room to get it slid, slid, slide it in. So the next thing is going to be is just to try and literally just to try and slide that glass through, and then get it connected up with the brackets. Um, probably going to refit this first. So well, I'll have to refit it because obviously it won't uh, get get in contact. So I'll have to refit this plastic uh, inside thing. Get that, push that back in, bolt that back up and then try and get the glass down and see if I can line it through. But uh, <laughs> never done it before, so let's, uh, I'll set you up and then you can see me doing it, guys. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so I couldn't just put you on time lapse for a second there because I've just started to strip down a little bit more because I don't think it's gonna go without me stripping a bit more. So see this, this little bracket here? It's like a little corner trim. Um, I think that's got to be removed. It's too tight, so I've got to take these two bolts out. So I'll take those two bolts out, and then I'll take that off. I've taken off this inner, inner, inner part here, both sides. And um, that'll, that'll give me a bit more sort of room. I've taken off the gasket around there as well. Just to see. I, I, like I said, I've never, not done it. I just need to try and give me enough space as I can um, when it comes to glass. So, yeah, so that's sort of, yeah, I need to get this corner off. So I'll just undo that, I'll strip that off, and then I'll set you up, guys, and then um, let's, let's go for it. Let's try and get this glass in, shall we? This one's done, guys. Just wants to clean both sides. But yeah, all done. And um, oh, works fine, perfect. A little bit fiddly, I'll be honest with you. When it comes to this handle, a bit fiddly around the back. You know, getting a, getting the glass out and stuff. I just didn't want any glass in the door, and there's none in there now. It's completely cleared out. So that one's done. Yep, that one's finished. So now let's move on to the next one, which is obviously the front one here. We're gonna do this one, and we're gonna do the side mirror as well um, at the same time. So let's see um, how this one goes. Um, Hopefully, should be should be okay. Hopefully, just to get a little bit fiddly when it comes to the switch and stuff. Just got to be careful on that. Um, but yeah, 
But yeah, I'll set you up, guys. We'll start pulling this one out and do this one, eh? Get this one swapped over. All right, let's do this. I think we're ready to get this glass in, guys. So, as you can see there, I, I had to put the, I connected the battery back up because I've disconnected the battery, take it off. But I've connected it back up and then connected up the switch motor for that and then reconnected the switch. And then uh, I've took the battery off actually now. So uh, I've brought it back down so that the bolts line up with the holes again. You can see it through there. There's one there, there's one there. And that's that down there. So yeah, um, they now, they now, so I can undo the bolts. There's a bit of glass in between those two. Um, I don't know if they're like a, I don't know what it is, but it's like a mechanism and it holds it, clamps, sorry. That's what it is, they're clamps. <laughs> so there's clamps on the top of these bolts that holds the glass together, you saw it on the other one. And in between the clamps, there's still the old bit of glass. So I have to, to get the old bit of glass out and then I had to pull this forward, as you saw, put it right forward, get the hoover down there, and then just hoovered it right out, cleaned it right up. And um, yeah, it's all done. It's all been cleaned out, so there's no glass in there now. And these are now in, in the correct position. I've taken off the trims as well, as you saw. So literally, it should be a case of just putting it, the glass, slide the glass back in, down to the clamps, um, clamp it up but with the bolts. And then, yeah, put all the trims back on, and it should be, that should be, this one, this one done, but I'll set you up guys so you can see what I'm doing. And then, um, yeah, I'll come back to you. But whilst we're here, we're gonna do the side mirror, which is here, this broken one here. And the bolt for it is through up into there. Can you see that? You can see that. There it is. So there's the bolt, that's the bolt head, and there's the bolt in there, so you undo that. And then the loom, the wiring loom for it, is this one here. So you just pull that that grommet off of there, and then you pull, it pulls through, and then yeah, pull out, and then put the new one back in. So I'll do that as well. I'll um, set you up on the tripod, and then um, yeah, you can see me do that, guys. So right, let's do this. Wow, so there we go guys. Glass is in and done. And the side mirror is uh, been fitted as well. So yeah, that didn't take too long. Took a little bit. I was a bit cautious and I was taking my time and I was just trying to sort of, I've never done it before. But um, yeah, next one should be really quick because now I know how to change the glass on this. So yeah, another string to the bow as they say, but. <laughs> Yeah, it come out all right, so pretty good, it's pretty cool. But if it works as it should, there is one issue that doesn't work and I have to get that sorted out, but that'll be uh, in the next video. I'll have to start with that, um, just showing you what I've done and then we'll move on to the windscreen probably in the next video. But 
Um, I'll just quickly show you that because I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how it happened. I thought it was kind of just the same, really. Um, so basically, what's happened is um, you can see that the t these two here are a slight different size. So this is the old one, and it goes into there, like that. And this one won't go in there because it's too long. I don't know why. Um, might because of it can't be anything to do with being. Uh, it might have something to do with being power fold mirrors actually. Yeah. It might have something to do with that. Um, I'm not sure. There's like 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10 wires coming off the back of this, but only six going into it. From this, Both of them are six. So the colors are exactly the same on this. So there's 10 coming out. So I'm assuming that this here, those extra wires are four power fold mirrors, if you want to convert it. So you, what, you know, I could have got, got a power fold mirror, put it in and then that, that would work. But I'm not going to mess around changing uh, that kind of thing. So all I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut that, those wires there, I'm going to cut those wires there and then connect this one up to that wiring loom so that that can then connect in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's just a, another step back, a setback. It's just one of them things, but you have to deal with it and get around it, you know? So that's what I'm gonna do. So how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna use, um, I'll show you what I'm gonna use, is these things here. And they're, they're heat, heat shrink, shrink um, connections. And you just yeah you get the wires bear the wires up both sides put that in heat up with a with a with a heat gun and um, put these little plastic things each side and it just yeah heats it seals it up and uh, it's the best way to connect it you're never going to get any sort of uh, water or anything like that on on these wires but it's, these are good these are these are fantastic to, to do like um, connection connecting wires wires together and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you just heat it up and then and then bear the bear the wire so it's a bit of, and then you just heat that up and it solves the, the bits of uh, copper together. And um, yeah, makes a good connection. So that's what I've got to do. But like I said, it's just another little setback. But it's just one of them things you just got to deal with it. Instead of going out buying a new mirror, you just deal with it and you you, you sort out the connections. And that's what I've got to do. But I, th I just think it's got something to do with the power fold mirrors, the block. It's weird. It's strange, very strange, but I'll deal with it. Um, so there we go. So that's gonna be the beginning of the next video. We'll s sort that wiring out. So that's finished. Uh, everything else works fine, sort of goes up and down. It's in the correct position. I've put all the gaskets back in all around the glass. Uh, the, the ball's back on. So that's, that's that's all good. That's all finished. That's all done. So there we go. Um, I've kind of run, run out of time today, guys. So really, that is going to be it for today's video. Um, really appreciate all the support. Don't forget to give the videos a thumbs up. Really, really does help. So if you can do that. If everyone could do that, that'd be fantastic. Um, and drop me a comment if you've got anything to say, any questions or anything like that you want to you ask me. Uh, just drop me a comment and I'll, and I'll get back to you. I always get back to you guys, every single one of you. And yeah, that's going to be it. So listen, stay safe um, and we'll get through this pandemic um, as quickly as we can and, and, and safely as we can. But guys, just stay safe. You know, and take care of yourselves and your family, and um, yeah, just uh, just take it take take it safe, guys. But for now, um, that's it for today's video, and um, I'll see you on the next one.